Hi students, in this video we are going to learn exercise number 9.1, question number 2. Our question is, a tree breaks due to storm and a broken part bends so that the top of the tree touches the ground and making 30 degree angle. That means, so there is a tree, suppose for example we have a tree, it's due to the storm, it breaks somewhere on the middle and it is laid down on the ground so that the top of the tree touches the ground suppose this is our ground so with the ground the top of the tree is making 30 degree angle that is a given question now the distance between the foot of the tree and the top touches the ground this, this is given to us is 8 meter because the distance between the foot of the tree to the point where the top touches the ground is 8 meter. This is the top touches the ground actually. This is the foot of the tree. In between these two we have 8 meter. Now find the height of the tree they are asking. So this is the total height of the tree. So let us take. This is a part it is already broken. This part let us take it as x. This part let us take it as y. Now the y part only we are having here. Let us take this as y. Because the y part only break down here. From this uh, question, we can draw the perfect right angle triangle. So, this is our right angle triangle given. So, here they have given us 30 degree. And this is automatically 90 only. And here we are going to take it as x. And here we are going to take it as y. This is our 8 meter. So, let us take a, b, c. Now, our aim is to find the x value and y value. Then, both should be added to find the total height of the tree. So from the diagram first we have to write which side is the hypotenuse side which is opposite side everything will write it. So 90 degree opposite the longest side is called as hypotenuse always. So this is your hypotenuse. So this is my angle. Opposite to my angle will be called as always opposite side. So the remaining one side will be the adjacent side. These are all the three sides now. Now here. First I am going to find the x value. x value is opposite side. Which is a known value to you. Adjacent side you know that. So the question is about opposite and adjacent. Opposite and adjacent. Which theta will come? Tan theta will come. Because tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. Now we are going to apply tan. The place of theta we can take it 30 degree. Which is equal to opposite value. We don't know that is our x. Adjacent value is 8. That we can write it. Tan 30 is equal to from the table value tan 30 is 1 by root 3 which is equal to x by 8. So the denominator 8 you can bring it to this side that will become multiplication. So 8 by root 3 is equal to x value. So we got the x value now. Now we need to find the y value also. Here the y is a hypotenuse side and the 8 is a adjacent side. With the use of this 8 only we can find the y also. So adjacent side and hypotenuse side is our formula. Then only we can find your y value. So adjacent hypotenuse together will form the cos theta. Because cos theta formula only adjacent by hypotenuse. Even you can go with secant also. So cos theta value is 30 degree. Equal to adjacent side we know 8. Hypotenuse value is y. Cos 30 degree is root 3 by 2. Which is equal to. 8 by y. So here we will do the cross multiplication. First we need to get the y value. So y into root 3. Root 3 y. Which is equal to 8 2 are 16. That is 8 into 2. It will be 8 2 are 16. So y is equal to 16 by root 3 we are getting. Now x value is 8 by root 3. Y value is 16 by root 3. So let us substitute the x value and y value. To find the total height of the tree. Here is the total height of the tree is. Diagram. From the diagram, total height of the tree. So, total height of the tree is nothing but x plus y only. So, total height is equal to x plus y we can write. Here in the place of x value we got 8 by root 3. Plus in the place of y we got 16 by root 3. Now, both the denominators are same. We can take one common denominator. So that 8 and 16 will be added directly. So 8 plus 16 is 24 by root 3. So whenever we are getting the root value in the denominator, you can rationalize the 
denominator so rationalization means we have to remove the root from the denominator so we can uh, multiply and divide by root 3 now so 24 by root 3 multiply and divide by root 3 we are doing so multiply and divide by root 3 24 into root 3 will bring you 24 root 3 here root 3 into root 3 will give you 3 so 3 ones are 3 8 threes are 24 so 8 root 3 we are getting so all the question is given in meter so the height of the tree also will be in meter only so 8 root 3 is your correct answer if in our exam if they are asked you to write the answer in decimal give your answer in decimal the, like that also they can ask you so 8 into 1.732 we can multiply and you can write it if they are asking you can go for it because root 3 value is 1.732 thank you students thank you for watching if you like our video subscribe our channel for more videos